Hey guys, welcome back from the exciting tutorial of creating process and in this video we'll be designing this logo and this logo has got a very unique style in the top. You can see there is a pointed shape which looks like a peak and it has got a nice glossy effect and as we go down there are a few more shapes which is very unique and it looks like a feather with different shades of color and with little transition in color it is giving out a very nice effect. So we'll be designing this logo in the following steps first. We'll understand what is the basic structure of this logo and we'll construct that using our basic shapes. Then we'll do some little bit adjustment with our rotate tool and using the rulers and every other aspects which is required. Then we'll use the shape builder tool to create these each shapes. And then finally we'll add up the greeting colors and add the text. So let's begin with the tutorial. First we we'll select the ellipse tool and create a circle and give it some stroke thickness color that is black and remove the fill color and after that we'll keep this here and we'll, we'll bring out the ruler to control R and bring out the ruler and it should be from here center and from here also keep it at the center and we'll bring one more and keep it in the middle and one more that should be in the middle of that two guidelines like that now the reason why we are using this grid is we need to make sure that this point should be starting from here and this point point this is the peak point should be at this point so that's the important so let's begin so we'll duplicate this circle control C control F and bring this down like that with the shape rest you can bring it down straight and after that just scale it down with the shape rest from, from this just this much there should be coinciding so you can see it formed a shape like this now duplicate this control C control F and with the rotate tool keep the anchor point at this point where the two guidelines intersect and just click and drag and rotate it to an angle and after that with the selection tool just scale this up from here with the shift pressed with the ship pressed you can see it is scaling up but this point is at the same point so we need that so we'll just scale this up a little bit more and again with the rotate tool make sure the anchor point is there and rotate it and it make sure it's at the like this the intersection should be here once you have achieved that we'll do few more stuff so after this we'll duplicate this circle once controls with the alt you can drag it out duplicate it and make sure to keep it at this second grid which is there and this showing point should be here where the guidelines and these curve intersect like that and after that we'll just rotate this to an angle with the rotate tool keep the anchor point there and just rotate it to an angle like that little bit lower and like uh, that that's much and with the selection tool just scale this up with the, from this side like that and this curve is for this portion this curve coming out like here this is going to be that and we'll duplicate this one once control c control f and scale it up and you can see this is the other curve which is coming out like that so this curve is going to be this one this outer edge and after that you can remove all the guidelines select everything and with the shape builder tool just select out the pieces which we need so this is the piece for this one this is the back piece here you can see and this is the peak one here this is the peak one and rest we can just uh, combine it and this is the back one so just combine it properly like that this one is this one edge so select it and this one just combine them after you have separated everything we can select this and delete it up and we are left with this this and this just fill it for some different colors so that we can see what's going on there and after that we'll do make this pieces so we'll make that we're using this control C control F duplicated and keep the rotate angle rotate tool here and just 
click and rotate it to an angle and after that with the selection tool just scale it up from this like that and you can see the main anchor point is always there so you don't need to worry about that just make sure like that now duplicate this Control c Control f keep the rotate anchor point there properly and just drag it out like that and now with the selection tool and just scale it up in such a way that it's look like this okay now once you've done get that select all the three arrange to or maybe we need to do one more stuff here you can see there's a nice curve here so we need to create that so to create the using the ellipse tool here so create a circle of certain this much radius remove the fill color for a while so that we can see and after that bring this with the shape press just drag and bring it here like that and you can see so this this is the curve which is going to create that nice smooth curve here so we'll just select all the three the curve and the two say faces for the shape builder tool just make this one okay. fill it up some different color so that we can see what's going on there like that and select this delete it delete it and this one delete it and you can arrange this or you can select all the three pieces arrange to front and let's fill up with the colors so and we are left with one more stuff here with the pen tool we'll create that fast style like that so select click here click here like that and remove the fill color for a while select these with the shape builder tool make this one object and make this other object and this deleted and let's fill up with the color so select this peak with the eye picker with the alt and shift pressed I select this color V for selection tool with the eye picker alt shift select this color V to select this other piece with the eye picker with alt pressed select this color V selection eye picker select the color V for selection eye picker alt and shift select the color select the so object with the eye picker fill the color and last we are left with this small piece so we'll select that with the eye picker alt shift so just bring it up and once you have got all the gradient colors in the proper places now it's time to adjustment so with the gradient tool select the object with the G is the shortcut for gradient tool G and just apply it in the correct order so we need light to dark like that select this G bring it there you can just scale it up like that select this with G we need to bring this little bit up like that and you can just scale this up a little bit more like that selection tool G for gradient and it should be like this selection tool G for gradient like this selection tool G for gradient and apply it properly maybe like this so once you have done that we are left with one more last piece here G from light to dark that's yellow to green so once we have applied all the gradient color in the proper places we'll do last step here we'll select these three pieces and we'll adjust their stroke color so here in the stroke we'll change the stroke color so we'll just go in there and make it a little bit darker or maybe lighter we'll make it a little bit lighter so that we can see the glossy effect here you can see like that now last thing we are left with is we'll apply the text so let's type out the text with a T A R I S E R I S, and let's apply the font which is there Adobe this is the 
language which I don't understand else TDL this is the font which you can find in Adobe Illustrator font collection and let's just apply it and let's increase the size to around 26 maybe and place it in their proper place finally we have designed this logo and in this video tutorial we have learned how to create a unique style logo using the basic shapes but arranging in a unique order i hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button thank you